Good afternoon my lovers, I'm back out on the fields. I've got the GPX 5000 with me, with the Horde Hunter coil, and I've already found some epic sounding targets. I reckon we're gonna have relics galore today. Oh, something down here. Right there. Nope. What's that on there? It's a bit of dark saw though, I think. Ah, what's that? Oh, look. It's a lovely old buckle. Oh, I, I love the GPX. It's a proper relic finder. Look at that. A lovely 500 year old buckle. Well, that's the find of the day so far. Well, it's the first find of the day. Oh, I reckon today's going to be epic. I reckon I got a pesky button. Pesky button. Yeah. Looks like a pesky button. All right. It looks a bit silvery. Oh, let's get my glasses off. Yeah. It's got definitely a very shiny surface. No. A bit rusty underneath though. Yeah, I just think it's a just a play almost a plain boring pesky button, but not quite. On to the next. That clearly looks like a patch of dark soil, but I'm not getting anything from the detector. So it must have moved up on edge or something. Here I go. So if you ever put your detector down the hole and it disappears, it hasn't disappeared, it's still down there. Oh, dark soil, could be a relic. Oh, best hobby in the world. Oh, what's that? What's that? Ooh, 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 get off, Mr. Ant. It could be something epic. It could be. Right, I'm gonna get a nice dry tough brush and we'll clean that up together. Right, I got me bag so I can mark down the grid reference for the flow. Let's just put that down there. Right. Oh, it's got holes in it. It's got holes in it. Oh, it's a little cross or something. Like a little cross. I can just poke that out with my fingernail. Is it going to come out? Or is it just corroded up? No, I think it's just corroded up. Right, that one. Get a little um, th thorn from the bushes. Ah, right. What's that? That could be really old. I'm not going to clean it up too much because look, you can start, start to see it's starting to crumble a little bit there. Look, so if I put water on this, it'll it'll just fall to bits. Oh, that's the find of the day so far. On to the next. Right, I know there were old buildings here because I've had this field geofizzed by archaeologists. And look, this is what they were made of. We got some daub. It's like a, that's what they used to put in between oh, the houses because they were built of wattle and daub. Got shells in there and all sorts. Oh, yeah. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I think there's something down here. like gold Ooh. Ooh, I, don't know. I don't think it's gold it's not it's not heavy enough oh well that give me a shock right 
Is it? It's got corrosion on the edges. I, I think it's plated, like it's a bit of copper there. Damn. I thought I had some more gold. Oh, you bugger. <laughs> right, let's get a real close look on this little beauty. Ah, oh, there's a gold plated watch winder. Yeah, look at that. Stunner. Is it gold? Uh, that's green on the inside, that. Yeah, and there's a bit coming off there. I think. I think it's a very good thick plate though. You know, I can just see it cracking off there on the edge. Still, that's the find of the day. Almost gold. Lovely jubbly. Oh, sounds nice. Oh, could be something epic. I've given up with the GPX. Problem is, it got to dig a lot of big deep holes, <laughs> and it's a bit tiring when it turns out to be nails each time. Right? I had a few nice relics with it. Don't get me wrong, but the ratio to crap is high, or cat as we should say. Right. Let's see what this is. And the, the super detector has got better uh, discrimination. Oh. Come on, that was a sweet signal. It's not going to be cac. Yeah, how's it gone? Let's try a reset. Still down there then, is it? That was a sweet signal. Sweet. And then my first day back after three days off. Uh, the first day I got out here and I'd forgotten my bag and the battery for the GPX. Got all the way out here. <laughs> so I didn't have any pin pointer and I didn't have a load of stuff. Ah. Yeah, so I, I thought, oh, let's go home. I felt like give, having a day off anyway. And then the next day it rained. <laughs> it rained for two weeks and then the next day it rained. And I can't use the GPX in the rain because it's not waterproof. <laughs> So, oh, well, I have to take the next day off. And then the third day, oh, I had a dentist appointment, which all went swimmingly well for a change. Right. Oh. Getting closer. You see down there? Yeah. So I had a bit of a longer break than as I was anticipating. Oh, a big chunk of lead, I bet. <laughs> or an epic relic. Let's, let's hope for an epic relic. But more likely a big chunk of lead. Let's get in this deep. Oh, right on it, right. There's a peg. Let's get a peg on there. Oh, I see dark soil. It's going to be a relic. Oh. What's it going to be? Yeah, I can see green. It's a relic. 
and this deep is going to be something absolutely epic. Yeah. Right, as soon as I can see a, enough of it, I'll get you down the hole. Just get the dirt off of it so you can see it. Enough of the dirt off. Right, let's get you down the hole. Right, can you see there? I think you can, just about. It's just the other side. Do you see it here, look? green inside. I thought it was going to be a buckle. It's not a buckle. It's not a buckle. It's not going to be an axe head, is it? It'll be my first axe head if it is. It's hard inside. Oh, this could be an absolutely epic find. Is it flexing? No, it's not flexing. Right, I'm going to dig around it a bit more because I don't want to hit it. I want to get this out in perfect uh, condition, if I can, without touching it. Epic, hopefully. This is going to be an axe head. And if it is, it's a big chunk. It looks like a big chunk. If this is an axe head, it'll be my first one. Thing. Uh, it's, uh, oh, it's big and round. It's green inside, look. Is it gonna move? It's moving, it's moving. What is that? Oh, it's heavy. Is that all of it? Right, let's just check. Yeah, that's all of it. What's that? I thought it was going to be an axe head. Oh, it's got a scene on it. It's got a scene on there. I can see something going on. It's got guild. It's gilded, or was. Right, I'm going to get a little fawn from the bush and I'm going to get try and get this mud out very carefully because it looks like it's um, gone a bit pasty on this side. It's got some sort of a scene and it was gilded. It's old because it's gone that, that sort of turquoisey colour look. See there's like a a lip there look so it might be in some sort of a container it's been squashed oh this could be the find of a lifetime what's going on there's some sort of a scene right And let this dry out, I think, this side. I'm just getting off the worst of the mud. And I'll give it a bit of a brush in with the tough brush. See, it's all just coming away now, look.
Oh, that bit dropped out. Oh, sort of a funny shape. Oh, left with pesky pin for it on again. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's right over there. Oh, you're going to have to wait. Just get the worst of the mud off. Ah, oh. pesky pinpointers. <laughs> All right, so this is ancient because I have found ancient here before. I found a lovely uh, medieval book class that dates to the uh, 14th century or 13th or 14th century so I reckon this is going to be equally as old right I'm going to let that dry out and I'm going to give it a, a light brush with the toothbrush right I've cleaned it up as much as I dare because as you can see it's starting to crumble look but it looks like it's some sort of an animal. I can see two back legs here, look. Possibly a tail there. And then, the, is that another leg there? And possibly a leg here, look. Another leg there at the front. Uh, but as for the rest of it, it's all like, almost looks like a person standing up there with something going around his neck look. but it's, I know they used to like um, hunting scenes so they did used to like a lot of hunting scenes so it could be a hunting scene but um, I'm sure someone will be screaming at this computer or your iPhone or your tablet or your TV saying it's one of them Cleggy it's one of them it's obviously some sort of like little cup it's been squashed. Is that a hole there? A little hole there. It's a corresponding hole on the other side. No. But yeah, it's, uh, it's starting to crumble a bit. So I'm going to put that in a plastic bag and put some holes in the bag so it can breathe a bit. Otherwise it will carry on degrading. And uh, sh show some pictures to my flow. On to the next. Oh, I've got something down here. And I can see a shirt, I think, of proper medieval pottery. Is that a piece there? Or is that a rock? All right, let's take my glasses off so we can see it. Very smooth, whatever it is. Very smooth, and, there, and I think that's medieval. Yeah, that's a piece of medieval pot there, look. Probably 800 years old. Right, what we got down this hole now? I'm going to make this the last hole because I've been here for quite a while <laughs> and the pub is beckoning. Oh, there's another bit there, look. Another bit of pot. It's smooth on that side. Is it on? It is. There's bits of pot all over the place in here. Could have a, a coin hoard. Oh, full of, you know, an old bit of pot. Okay. Like a vase. A, a vase, stoneware vase. Vase or vase or whatever you call it. And uh, be full of coins, gold coins. Ooh, this is looking this is looking interesting. Oh a bit near the side wall. Mm. 
I've dug a lot of nails today. Oh, what's that there? No, don't think that's it. Oh, I don't know. It's not quite near the side wall. Oh, a bit close that one. Right, let's do the rest with a peg. Got any pegs on me? No, I think I took them all back to my uh, FRV forward rendezvous. <laughs> yeah, that's where I pack all my pack up all my bits. Uh, coffee, soup. Uh, uh. Mm, it's a bit of a big signal now. It could be cack. Pre-warned, this could be rubbish. Oh, what's that there? Is that a bit of lead? It's my first bit of lead of the day. Yeah. Ah, yeah, it's a bit of lead. Still, I've had a really good day. I found three epic relics. And I'll be back in this field, and I'm going to keep, keep coming back to this field until the grass is too long to detect. And then hopefully, soon, I would have sold that coin and I'll be able to buy my super detector. Just a bit of lead. Oh, that's it me lovers, I'm going to head off. I've had a really good day, I've found some epic relics, four epic relics. And uh, I'm going to head off to the pub for a couple of jars. Oh, yeah, I missed metal detecting over the last three days of not getting out. But I'm back, don't worry, I'm still here. I was just, uh, I had to take a few days off. I was getting a bit tired, forgetting things. But I've got a checklist now. I've got a checklist on, on, on my magnet freezer, freezer magnet thing. <laughs> oh, I need a beer. Cheers! Mr. Mouse, coming out at this time of the day. He's gone. <laughs>